Special day for all of us here at NBC 10 today. We are celebrating 74 years of WJAR TV. Here's where it all began. In 1944, representatives from NBC approached the outlet with the idea that the company establish a TV affiliate in Providence. WJAR TV went on the air three years later. The date was Sunday, July 10th, 1949. Announcer Jim Metcalf was the first voice heard on the brand new TV station. He introduced the station's first broadcast, a baseball game between the Red Sox and Philadelphia Athletics. WJAR spent 14 years at Broadcast House in downtown Providence. In 1993, moving to our current home in Cranston with a friend from NBC to help christen our new studios. From NBC News, this is Today. Looks like somebody got went crazy with the pastels. Wow. I like it. Yeah. Do you? The first local news anchors were station announcers just reading the news. It wasn't until the mid-70s newscasts were fronted by actual broadcast journalists with reporting experience. But all men for a while. Sarah Wye, the first female news reporter to break that barrier. News times expanded over the years from the traditional 6 and 11 p.m., starting earlier in the evening. Good evening, and welcome to the new 5.30 report. And, of course, first thing in the morning with Sunrise, which in the late 90s expanded to seven days a week, with yours truly on weekends for years. And there have been new program expansions in just the last few years. In 2019, we launched our first lifestyle show, Studio 10, which has incorporated some longtime favorite segments, such as Chef Terranova and Place a Pet. And in 2022, we started our first ever 4 p.m. news. Right now, look at your top four at four. The names and faces have changed over the years, but one thing has not. WJAR's commitment to bringing you the news and weather that matters to you in the most accurate and comprehensive way each and every day. And it is a responsibility we still take very seriously each and every day. Of course, we're on digital all over the place as well. We expanded into the internet with the launch of TurnTo10.com a few decades ago. You can still see our special 70th anniversary stories there, and you can watch the Outlet Story documentary on our WJAR YouTube channel.